Uh, my score is fourteen thousand. My score is fourteen thousand nine hundred and six. You can switch it however you want. It could be horizontal, be vertical. The back camera is just the more superior camera. Good morning, guys. I think it's morning. Yeah, it's still early. It's like ten o'clock, ten twenty-two. But I am on my way right now to take. Well, showing my sister where to take my mom's car to get fixed. Something was wrong with like her steering wheel so my sister is following me right now so that way she doesn't have to stay I can just whoa drop the car off and come back oh also oh <laughs> today I'm just gonna be shooting some content so you guys will see like the behind the scenes of that I really need a car mount for my camera I'll talk to you guys when I get there because this is just sliding Okay guys, I'm back in the house. Um, look, let me show you guys how I make my new favorite iced coffee for the holidays. So first, I don't have my tripod, I'm sorry. But look, let me set you up on the phone. Get a cup of ice. Get the coffee you like. I like this one right now. It's called Wide Awake Coffee Company and this is the Cold Brew Medium Roast. pour the coffee <laughs> get you some eggnog right this is the eggnog wait first of all I have one that's open already hold on I'll be right back okay so get yourself some eggnog this is the southern comfort one if you do non-dairy try that um, I prefer non-dairy because I can't have dairy but this is this just tastes better so I like risking my life every now and then so get some eggnog <laughs> Pour it in like that, just just a little bit. Then you get your favorite creamer. Um, I don't have a favorite, but this is the Starbucks non-dairy hazelnut. And you wanna get a little flavor going on. Then you wanna stir it a little bit. I also like to add a little bit of this here. This is the Tarani, I believe that's how you pronounce it. White chocolate syrup. And, oops. I just do a little bit. And then I stir it up again. Then you can just get real fancy and get some whipped cream. This is the Target brand, the favorite day. And this is just the extra creamy whipped cream. And then top it again. <laughs> That's it. It's so freaking good. The eggnog and the creamer. You don't even have to use creamer. You could just use eggnog if you want. And then use, a, you know, like the coffee syrups or whatever. But I don't like the coffee syrups. That's good. All right, now I'm about to make my very simple and easy breakfast for lazy people. None other than oatmeal and a carton, or whatever you call it. What would you call this? A carton, Danny? Cup. Oatmeal in a, oatmeal in a paper cup? <laughs> so, oatmeal in a paper cup. Um, Again, this is the Target brand. I like the Target brand stuff better than the like the, the things that people would consider name brand. This just tastes better. It's uh, less calories, it's less fat, it's less sodium, and it just tastes better. And it's organic. So this is the Good and Gather um, apple cinnamon oatmeal. Add some butter. Mm. 
And then while this is cooling off, I like to put the top on it, let it marinate a little bit. Anyways, let's get to work. All right guys, so I'm back upstairs. Hold on, I'm trying to screw the little screw in for the tripod. Come on. Boom, we got action. Okay, so back upstairs. My oatmeal is still pretty much too hot to eat right now, but um, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna take these into the studio next door. I think I'm gonna shoot these today. I don't, uh, these are the Yeezys by the way, but I think I'm gonna, I actually might need these. So I'm gonna leave them out. I'm not gonna put them away yet. But for now, um, I can, this jacket needs to be hung up. And last night I was a little bit more prepared. So I got a bunch of my outfits together inside of this bag right here. And um, that's just going to make my life a lot easier to um, maneuver when I shoot. So I'm going to show you guys my outfits today. And then I think on the next vlog I'll show you guys how I shoot them. Like the order and how I shoot them to make it easier on myself I guess. Um, but I also, I think I'm going to set up this camera so I can do some TikTok stuff. I have all kinds of microphones, y'all. But while my oatmeal is still kind of cooling off, let's go into the other, um, let's go into the other room real quick. So, oh, I also need to clean up in here. set you guys up over here because if not it just have the mirror okay so in the studio I'm not gonna need this backdrop today but here's my setup you guys here's how I get ready to shoot some content so first of all let me give you a tour of <laughs> this space real quick so it's a big empty room right um studio I used to be um, a bunch of other stuff in here, but I emptied it out. So I usually shoot against this wall back here. This room, as well as my room next door, they're both about to get painted. Like I said, it was like a lot of art in here. So you can see like the wall, how it's like discolored. Cause there was like paint and stuff everywhere, different color stuff. My nephew had like a whole little gaming room and stuff situated in here. But right now we're going to empty, I mean not empty, it's going to get painted and then I'll be able to set this up differently. Um, over here, I have most of my equipment. I have my ring light. Hold on. I could totally just... What is the tripod for? Duh. So. Okay, so here, this situation here, this light, this light is a color changing bulb where I can put behind certain backdrops and let off like a red, green, pink, orange, whatever. So this is a color changing bulb in this light. And this one is for photos, obviously, for shooting photography. So it's really bright, like a daylight type bulb. Um, so I use this one if I just need extra lighting on my face. If I need extra lighting on my face, I'll use this one. My ring light, I use all the time. Um, and I usually have this one directly in front of me or to the side of me. I usually have my phone on this one or my smaller um, Canon camera or Sony camera hooked up to this one. And I use this because the lighting is so well. Obviously this is the backdrop. This extends, it can go from wall to wall. I also have um, this here. This rod right here, it used to be like the curtain rod that you hook up to the, you know, your window, but I used it for a backdrop. So I just hook it to the ceiling on the ceiling rod so I can have things draped down. So that's what this rod was for. And I also have another piece as well. 
in the other um, room that I need to actually bring over here. Now, over on this side, so when you walk in the room, you have the window, which is great because in the daytime, it gives so much, see, look, it gives so much natural light. I'm gonna close it right now just cause I'm talking, but it gives so much natural light. So when I'm shooting and I need to shoot something like with the light facing me, it's perfect. I can put my table right here and shoot beauty stuff. I can put my backdrop right here behind me. I can shoot in the middle of the room so the light isn't harsh and I don't need any of those extra lights. But here's the clothing rack right here. Um, usually I leave a bunch of stuff that I need to shoot on here. So as you can see, I have some stuff right now. I haven't shot this jacket. It's kind of dark, but I haven't shot the jacket yet. It's a blazer. Can you guys even see? Because I know when the light is like that, it's weird. Hold on, let me cut on some light for y'all. Now inside of this bag, you guys, it's so much stuff. But first, before I get to that, I'm gonna show you why I bought this in here and why I need to clear off this table. So, moving right along on this side of the room, behind the door here is a table. Um, this is usually a craft table. I do, I bring my sewing machine and do my DIY projects and stuff like that. However, however, right now, it's just been piling up and accumulating with things that need to go to the cleaners. So like this needs to go to the cleaners. The matching sweater needs to go to the cleaners. I'm just gonna make a pile over there. That's all going to the cleaners, cleaners. This is for a DIY project. These need to go to the cleaners. I had some more stuff that need to go to the cleaners, but I'll stop there. My hat that I'm also gonna be shooting, Jacques Mousse, have that. And so now that this is cleared off, this is what's actually happening here. Okay, so what I like to do when I'm getting ready to shoot some content, fashion content, is I separate it based on accessories shoes all that good stuff so right here i have three scarves that i'm going to be using for um these looks so i'm going to set my accessories here my shoes will come next but for now that's what i have right here and then i like to go in with if i have matching sets or not that i'm going to be shooting and i don't think i think there's only one matching set that i'm going to be shooting but for right now I have my joggers, like sweatpants. These are some champion sweatpants I'm gonna be shooting. So I set that over there. And then here's the big bag of things that needs to get worked out. So I have bottoms, sweatshirt tops. This is new. That is like athletic, athleisure stuff. Um, all of my rompers and things like that will go into the category of bottoms so i have this short one piece romper situation so i'm going to put that with the bottoms also another romper um this dress i don't think i'm gonna be shooting this so i'm gonna just leave it right here for right now as far as tops um sweatshirts i might shoot these again i think i'm going to be shooting this one definitely this is a maybe so i'm not going to shoot that put that up there and again matching sets so these are some sweatpants and here is the matching jacket to it so i like to put that separate and here are more bottoms so joggers some split hem like pants. All of these are shorts. So these are different length shorts, but they're all athleisure, athleisure athletic type, casual loungewear-esque shorts. So they're all like cotton, you know, based loungewear. So I have two matching ones. In different colors and then these two matching ones in different colors I have the like the darker pair and then I have the lighter pair which are the longer shorts so again 
put that with the bottoms. And I also have these two, um, whoops, these two slip dresses that I also want to shoot as well. So I have this slip dress. I don't know how I can see that, but I have a slip dress that I want to shoot. I'm going to just hang this from the clothing rack. And then I also have this slip dress that I want to shoot as well. I'm just going to hang that on there. Now, as far as this goes, this is the outfits here. You're probably wondering where are all the tops. My tops are my basics that I'm going to have. Like I said earlier, are things like this. The body suits, whoops, the button downs, the casual pieces that go with all of this stuff. And it's all interchangeable. That's why I'm shooting this is because I'm going to show you how to style like one pair, like style one top multiple ways or one pair of shorts multiple ways. And I'm going to be using the same items interchangeably because I have a very minimalist, almost minimalist wardrobe. And I think it's easier when you can see things minimized to get an idea of how you want to style things. So that's why I didn't bring out all of the tops just yet because they're just easy to just grab. And they're mostly bodysuits and tank tops. So that's going to be that. There's a bag here on this floor. <laughs> and it's full of things that need to go and get hung up. So I'm going to be shooting with these boots. Whoops these boots as well so I can put these here on the table so I got boots I'm gonna be shooting with I am gonna be shooting with a pair of Crocs I don't know if it's gonna be these or my white ones probably these so I'm gonna leave these up here as well I'll just set them close to that you guys almost forgot about my oatmeal but good thing is it's the perfect temperature Get that light out of you guys' face. It's very good. What you looking for, girl? What you looking for? Where you going? Huh? What's your deal? You know you can't handle this oatmeal. Hold on. Pop out. <laughs> Hi, Sugar Plum. She has so many nicknames. Sugar Plum. Pretty girl. Pock Pock, Sweet Baby, <laughs> Little Brat, get down, off, you're not getting oatmeal, off, sit, you have your own food. I literally just put your food out. No. Go downstairs with Danny. That's what she's here for. To watch you while I work. You so extra. All right, let me go get the stuff to set up my cameras. And my coffee. On this tripod right here, I like to open it all the way up to as high as it can go. Pocket, no, no. As high as it can go. Wait, hold on, you guys can't even see. As high as it can go, which is literally Hello? I have a question. What? You can't say that I twist it to fit. You know what I mean? I don't think he want me to be able to twist 
my um my pieces around because then I really go crazy. I already got like uh, my score is fourteen thousand. My score is fourteen thousand nine hundred and six. No, no, but I'm about to try to see if I can up update the game now. I'm already at fourteen thousand nine hundred and six. Like if I can rotate the pieces, I would get so many more points. Then if you rotate ten times, you know how many like, how many times I can rotate a piece. <laughs> oh, it's so over. I, my score is going to be so high if they let me up, update it. I'm about to see if I can update it in the app store. Bye. You guys. <laughs> if you have a phone, I don't know if it's just for iPhone or not. But hold on. Well, I can't log out. I forgot I'm in the game. But um, right now, I don't know how you guys see this. My score is... 14,906, okay? It's called Block Busters or Block Blaster. I don't know, but I play this when I'm not doing anything or I need a break from like work and like, it's just a really cool game to play because it makes you like really look at pieces. So please download it and play, okay? I'm getting, and now he said, my nephew said I can rotate pieces if I update the app. <gasps> oh, my score about to be so high. Anyways, let me, it's called Block Blast. That's what it looks like in the app store right there. But it's called, let me lower it. This one, it's called Block Blast. But listen, pocket, no, no. That's my dog. Who are you barking at? That's a no no. No no, no bark. You know everybody in here. No no. Come here. Danny, Danny, call Pocket. Pocket, are you going downstairs? Okay, come on. Never mind. You have got to calm down with all this barking you've been doing lately. What is the deal? Okay, like I was saying, you guys, this is my tripod. I'm going to lower it so you guys can see the whole thing real quick. So, this is ultimately what the tripod looks like, right? So, this is it. It's amazing. I love it. And it's great because this is the one that I usually keep... Um, no, not the one I keep in my car. This is the one I usually keep close by because I use this for like reels or whatever because your phone just hooks right up to the phone attachment part that goes here. It's not on here right now because I'm not using my phone for this one, but it hooks right on. It has the same little screw for, you know, your cameras and all that stuff, but it's so compact that it's not annoying. So when you open it, it can go all the way flat. I never do mine all the way flat. I like to leave it like kind of like that to make it higher. And then when you open it, it has four different height adjustable things. It has the knob right here as well. So you can make it vertical or horizontal, however you're shooting. And then you just open these like a regular thing. And like, look how long it gets. I do mine all the way when I first start um, recording just because when it's already all the way up, it's easier to, you know, adjust your cameras and stuff like that when it's already at the height that it's supposed to be pocket move baby girl and then this one i'm going to shoot this might be too heavy for to be tall i don't know i'll check it hold on okay so once the camera is attached i'm gonna lower it once the camera is attached you can see like because it's locked from the thing being turned, you can switch it however you want. It can be horizontal, it can be vertical, it can be top down, it can be top up, however you want. For me, because I'm shooting um, some fashion content, you can see how see how it's like crooked, crooked, crooked. <laughs> it's crooked like that because I didn't adjust it. I also like to make sure that when I'm doing this, hold on, that I do it on this side because. I don't know how I can see, but it has like this little, you know, the height adjustable thing. 
it has this to lean on but I'm gonna show you why I do that and then I get it to where I want it to be at oops oops and I get it just like that now this believe it or not that's vertical then I open the camera whoops kind of pulled it down open the camera turn it on I don't think I have a memory card in here right now I could be wrong yeah I don't have my memory card in here but this is how I would set this one up I would set it up like this and it would be shooting in this corner here or over here or over here or in front of the window <laughs> or over here however it is that you're gonna shoot this is gonna get your vertical content for um, that shoot so I'm gonna cut it off right now preserve the battery so excuse me pocket I need you to slide over girl slide over go move it thank you so I like to set this one up this camera so that when I'm shooting it catches me over here and then with my don't you touch it leave it leave the cord alone and then with my ring light I also set this up pretty much in the exact same position only difference is this has the um let me show you move The only difference is that when I'm setting this one up, this has a really good um, camera, I mean phone mount. This did not come with the ring light. I bought this from um, Best Buy. It's a Joby, I don't know. It's just, you know, the camera holder. But the thing is with this one, it has like a pop stop. Let me see if I can get a better angle for y'all. That's pretty close. Okay, so basically, this is what your phone goes in, right? Pocket. Hey, leave it. I'm about to go put her back in her room. <laughs> so this has um, the. This is where your phone goes in between here, right? So the bracket, you can see, I'm pulling it, and it's not opening, right? And that's because on the back side of here, it has the latch. I like this idea better than the normal ones because once it's locked in a place, you know your phone is not gonna go anywhere. But also with this, if it's when it's open, see, I'm able to stretch it. But also it's, it has like a really good spring in here. So it's still stiff to where you know your phone is secure. And then pocket. She's literally sniffing out my um, iced coffee. So you put your phone in how you would normally put your phone in things in the mount. So you put it in there like that, snap it in place. I know my phone isn't going anywhere. And then I use this little adjustment to tighten it. So, so now I can't move my phone. So when I cut this on, I know my phone is stable. However, when I'm shooting for my camera, I do some stuff. So when I'm shooting on my camera, I do some stuff where it's front face camera. Usually the front face things are, um, what is it called? Um, like when I'm doing like an outfit of the day and I'm just holding things like for instance if I do this, I'll grab something off the rack and I'll be like so, and now I want to put on this bodysuit. This is by Charlotte Rue. And then like that. So like my talking things, I'll do. I'll use the front face because I don't mind the quality of the front face. It's actually really good quality on your iPhone. But the other things is when I'm shooting, all of my like motion, oops, motion things, I always flip this to the back camera. Like no matter what, I flip it to the back camera because this is so crisp. It has the wide angle view. You can zoom in. And because it's so crisp, I could do detailed shots and things like that. Pocket. I can use detail. I can do detail shots, and I know that they're gonna come out exactly how I want them want them to because the back camera is just 
the more superior camera, just to be fair. And if you want to know how I see myself and know that I'm in frame, it's because I use, um, what is the app called? Let me see what the app is called. It's called, um, where is it? It's called a power mirror. Can you see that? Let me turn it down. That one. It's called a power mirror. I download this not only on my iPhone, but I download it onto um, my iPad because once I open this up, it automatically syncs to Bluetooth and I can see everything on my iPad that I'm recording on here. Literally everything on this back camera, I can see directly on my um, iPad and my iPad is usually somewhere close by anyway. So I can see just like that. But honestly, if I set this up, I know that it's gonna get everything over here. So I'm not worried about it. I don't have to use that app all the time. And that's how it works. Let me go put my dog downstairs. Tell everybody that you're going downstairs and you've had enough running around time for the, that more time than the Lord allows, okay? You've been running around like a mad pup. Guys, she has her own room, like I said. Playroom full of toys and things. She just likes to be everywhere. And because she's small, even though she's an adult dog now, she's a year old, um, you still have to watch your dog. Like I don't, she doesn't, she's not allowed to be out unless she's supervised, which is all the time. But um, like right now, her running around, I can't have that because I'm trying to work. So, hey, Puck Puck. She likes to be held like this, y'all. <laughs> Why is she like this? It's time for you to get some grooming done. I do her grooming, so I do her haircuts and everything. But because she broke her toenail, um, the vet, I called the vet because it was like a big, like she broke the nail, like the whole nail. So um, I called her vet and they just told me to not give her a full on bath right now because you don't want to get infections and get water and all that stuff she didn't need any medicine for it but um because it was it broke off so low i don't want to cause any irritation or harm to her so they did they did tell me just wait like two weeks to give her actual full bath they said i could put her feet in water but um it's the, it's not the water it's like the puppy shampoo even though there's no harsh chemicals in it, it you know you don't want to irritate it if i don't have to so i'm gonna do that and then I'm just gonna wipe her down with her wipes, get her freshed up with some conditioner. Yeah, that sounds like a plan, girl. That sounds like a plan, my girl. <laughs> Pop. <laughs> she be so dumb with me. Look in the camera, tell people how cute you are. Like, see her eyes, they all gross because I can clean this dog. I tell you, I clean her eyes at least eight times a day. Let me see. At least eight times a day I clean this dog's eyes. She just has runny eyes for a dog. And her vet, I've taken her to the vet. When I tell you it's so expensive, a vet visit, and I still take her anyway because that's how much I love my dog. But I take her, I'm like, is her eyes supposed to be running all the time? And like, she's, that's just... That's just who she is. There's nothing actually wrong with her. She does not have allergies. She's not allergic to anything. Um, this is a hypoallergenic dog, by the way. But she's just she just has runny eyes. And also she still puts her whole face in the water bowl. So that doesn't help. But you gotta go down you, hey, you know you're going downstairs, right? You hey, you know you're going downstairs, right? Paul, high five. Thank you. <laughs> I'll be back. Whew, I hate those stairs. Um, okay, so Pocket's back in her room. And now, my phone. It's gonna go on there. 
have all of my clothes that I'll be shooting. I have this camera. I'm gonna turn it back sideways for now until I'm ready. Oh, also, um, I have different remotes that I can use. I don't use them, but I could use a remote, like a self timer. But I also have this light because sometimes, <laughs> sometimes the window behind us lets off too much light and I don't have time to be adjusting the camera setting. So I like to close that light, I mean close, close the window and just use my ring light and this little baby right here. And it gets bright, but this is perfect when the windows are closed. And again, it just has the attachment. I can use it on the camera that I'm filming on right now or on any other DSLR or mirrorless camera. Just attach it right on top and boom, you got light. <laughs> and also, um, right now I have in the warm tone shade right here. You can take this out. Oops. You can take this out and put in the clear one. So this is like a warm tone one and I also have a clear one as well that slides right into here. Oh, and it's really bright. Like you can leave it off. I don't like to do that because it's, the light is too harsh, but that's how you do that. You slide it right on in there, clips right in, and then you got your lights. And it does have an adjustable temperature setting on the side, but that's what I like to use for certain things. Also, this is great for if you're vlogging at night as well. Let me show you guys real quick how, one more thing, how I, um, hold on, it's like weird angle, <laughs> how I <laughs> would set up if I wanted to do a backdrop. Let me show you how it would look. So let me slide this out of the way. I'm gonna bring my ring light over here. Oops. Cleaner clothes. I'm set in the hallway. drop it down first like this and then hold on let me go get the um one of the backdrop papers okay so this here guys this here is just a plain paper roll like I believe I got this at Michael's or Hobby Lobby it could be, I think it's actually Hobby Lobby, you know, in the back part of the store where they have all these little backdrop paper rolls or whatever by the art, art section. That's where I got this from. And it's very long. This is a blue one, as you can see. But I got these ones because I don't need full on backdrop paper. I noticed that when I had my backdrop papers, they were just so heavy. And one, they take a lot of space because they're super tall. Like this is super, like this is on the ground and it's short. But the backdrop papers take up so much space and these essentially do the same thing now if i if, if you want to take your job seriously get backdrop paper like actual backdrop paper because it's a little bit thicker than this you don't have to worry about it tearing all the time but for me for like eight nine dollars this can tear all day because i can just go get another one so this is what i like to do i use this and then i take one side off Just one side it has like a little screw or whatever and then I lift it pull it out this way slide the entire roll on here and I 
bring it back over here. Screw it right back on. You don't have to screw this down if you're not gonna be like moving it all the time, but just a little extra level of security. So now that that's on, I usually have like my little night thing to take the tape off. Let me go get it. Let me go get it. Be right back. All right, I just use a simple little box cutter, but the reason being is because I just seal it. When I roll this up, I just stick a piece of like scotch tape on it. And if you do it in the same spot every time, you don't have to worry about tearing your paper. So, yeah. So that's how I have it, right? I bring this to the middle or to the side, depending on how I'm going to be shooting. I'm gonna show you one more example, hold on. So I went and I purchased um, some sheets, like different color sheets. Um, this is also a very good alternative. If you can purchase like different color sheets, I would say get the, obviously the cotton sheets, but, um, or silk or satin if that's the type of look you're going for. But I like to use regular cotton sheets for certain backdrops because these are cheaper and also um, I get the largest size. So if I can't find the cow king size, then I'll just get a king size because this is definitely more than enough to cover the space that I'll be shooting in. The fitted sheet is easy to use as well. Let me show you in a second. Look, when you buy a fitted sheet, you can, this will basically double the size because you can use it on the floor or whatever. And like, I don't know if you can tell, see how it's like cut? It's because on the, you know the edges, of the fitted sheet if you just cut in between there it'll lay flat so you technically have two flat sheets once you cut the sides off but for now let me show you how this would look so you get a large one this is i believe this is a this is a queen size so you would do this rolling your paper down get it fitted to the height that you want okay so as you can see it rolled all the way out you can roll this all the way down stand on it as long as you have enough slack it will hold so what you would do right here to make sure it doesn't keep rolling is use these little clips and just hold it in place just like that these clips, you can buy the kind that are directly for photography. I went to Home Depot and found so many of these. They were only like, I believe a dollar or $1.99. And these work, honestly, I think they work better. But um, you just use this as a clamp to hold your paper in place so it doesn't keep rolling. The same thing for like sheets and stuff when you wanna stretch a tight background, you just end up stretching it to where it attaches to here. So you'll clamp them on the side and as long as you have the right height and width for your background you won't even see it like you literally won't see any of these clips because you're going to be in the frame so thumbnail photo and then I like crop it I only want that side in there I think I can do that hold on a little bit more like that <laughs> I think that's a good um 
thumbnail. Let's let's do a thumbnail shot. Hold on. All right, let's get the thumbnail. I think I'm gonna. Okay, you guys, thanks for tuning in to today's video. Please hit the subscribe button and enjoy. Keep enjoying Vlogmas. I'm having so much fun filming this content for you guys. And I will see you guys on the next one.